Welcome to our troubleshooting guide, or what to do when things don't go right in full gas. So the first thing we're doing here is we're going off to find our kicker. But there's no kicker there. So what could be going on? Either it's not plugged in, which hopefully it is, or Bluetooth works through pairing. So a kicker or any Bluetooth device will pair to an app. And that means that if you already pair to something, you can't pair to full gas. Even if you've got um, your kicker paired to full gas on another device, like if you, here we're using an iPhone, if it was on an iPad, you need to quit it on the iPad first, or in this case, if we go through, have a look, oh, I've still got the Wahoo Fitness app open, so if I close that and try again, we'll see what we find. The best way to try again is just to go back and press get started again. There's the kicker. Now if we just press let's ride, it should give us an error, which it does, which is you need to select a power device. So we'll go through and we will select the kicker and select the RPM sensor and now we'll get power and cadence during our ride. So now we can press let's ride. Full gaze will update the list of available rides. Now something I can't stress strongly enough is no matter how good your internet connection is, full gaze will run better if you download the rides first. This is because it's less work for your iPhone or iPad to do, but also because no matter how good your internet connection is, there could be a bottleneck between your house and our server, or the internet connection to your house might be fantastic, but where you're training, the Wi-Fi connection might not be that strong between your Wi-Fi router and where you're working out. So it really does pay to download first. So if we just go through to one that's downloaded already, we'll press on that and it should go. Away we go for a few seconds, but now it's stopped. Now, don't panic. The reason it stopped is because I'm not pedaling. So, by default, full gas um, is shipped in what's called reactive mode. So it reacts to your effort. The harder you try, the faster the videos go, just like real life. Now, that means if you're just trying to watch the video, you can press play. It'll run for a few seconds or a fraction, and it'll keep stopping. It's not broken. You just need to pedal. It's it's that simple. The other thing that may happen is you can see at the top there there's an elevation profile. That's a tiny little file that Fullgaz downloads and it just downloads it once and it saves it internally. And that file gives it all the information about distance and time and slope and elevation gain and so on and so forth. It just needs to grab that once and you don't need to be riding to get it. So if you are struggling with your internet or with your Wi-Fi, try doing it, try first viewing the ride right by your Wi-Fi router or even just try it on um, LTE or 3G instead. Just to grab that file once, then it's saved forever. Then it'll always work, even if you're offline. And they're really the main things that can go wrong, which is not finding the trainer and not having a video file there to play and the internet not working as well with our videos as you'd hope. If you sort those problems out, you should have trouble-free riding from there on.